Hi friends, welcome back. It's Lydia here. I wanted to show you how to make the most out of your thrifted clothing through various alterations and techniques. So watch and learn. I found these men's Levi's at a vintage store. They fit everywhere except the back waist by two inches. So I am pinching it and marking it. And then I take out about four to six inches of the back waistband and also take out the center back seam about four inches down. I move over the center back seam and reduce it by 1.5 inches, after which I will top stitch where the origi original stitches were. I then take in the waistband two inches and re-sew the waistband to the pants, easing it in. I have a more in-depth waist cinching denim tutorial linked above. I am then going to hem the jeans with a Euro hem. So you start by marking your new hem line. Then you pin your current hem along this line. And with a zipper foot, you will sew as close to the hem ridge as possible. Then you cut off the excess leaving about half inch and cut the inner seam closer no more than quarter inch to reduce the bulk. Then you want to open the original hem and insert the raw edge of your seam allowance and then sew it all up again. This way you'll have that lovely original hem look instead of just a double fold. And just a tip, you always want your non-stretch jeans to fit a little too tight when you first get them, especially in the waist because the cotton fibers will expand to your body with wear and be a perfect, almost comfy fit. I say this because the best, most long-lasting, and thus sustainable denim is non-stretch. 100% cotton denim. I really like oversized garments, but not to the point that they look sloppy and like they weren't actually made to be that big on me. So I'm reducing the cuff width and shortening the sleeve and body. I start by seam ripping the cuff and cutting the sleeve shorter. I then take one inch off the width of the cuff by serging it. And then I reapply the cuff with right size facing and serge to finish. You can always use a zigzag stitch in place of a serger. It will still allow for that stretch that you need. I cut about two inches off the hem, leaving room for a one inch seam allowance, and cover stitch or zigzag to finish. I wear this comfy top half tucked or fully tucked. If I, would, if I made it to wear untucked, I think I would go back and reduce the width of the body, but for now I like the billowy look. All these boots need is a nice shine. When I opened the shoe shine, it was old and cracked, so after looking at a YouTube tutorial, I remelted it on the stovetop and let it cool, and then I applied it to my shoes.
So after applying an even layer on the surface of my shoes, I took the soft bristle brush and buffed them. This wool blazer is clearly 80s with massive shoulder pads and I really like it. I would likely wear this open or belted. Um, when I buttoned it, I was like, what? The last owner of this blazer wanted to create a roomier fit in the hips and so they moved the button over I decided to move the button back to its rightful place, and it's very simple. Uh, to create a shank for the button, which is, the shank is a space between the button and the fabric to make room for the fabric that is being buttoned onto it. I placed two thick pins in the shank area and then sewed the button on to create that height. I actually don't think that I did it quite right because usually you use you use a toothpick and it sits on the surface of the fabric, but I tried. I think it worked fine. <laughs> to finish, I wrap the thread around the shank and tie it off, and it is restored. found these 100% wool trousers in the men's section at a value village and all I need to do is take in the waist so I pinch the back waist and mark neat where it needs to come in and then I unpick about six to seven inches of the waistband and take off the three belt loops in that area. Then I will mark the reduction on the inside. So a total of 2.5 and half to that's one and a quarter. Then I sew the new center back seam starting at the top with one and a quarter and gradually reducing that width as I go down and finishing along the original seam. You want a very gradual, smooth line. I had to do this a couple of times to get it right, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't turn out right the first time. A tip with trousers is when you take them in, pay close attention to where the back pockets are and make sure that they aren't coming too close. If they're gonna come too close with how much you're reducing the center back seam, then you need to start reducing the side seams as well so that you don't have to take out so much in the back. I found this 100% linen women's shirt. It was just such good quality and looked like it hadn't even been worn. But it's a little long in the body and the sleeves, so I'm going to fix that. To begin, I draw a curved hem front and back and cut it out. Remember to leave at least half an inch seam allowance for the hem. I reduced the side seams by 2 inches and left a half inch seam allowance. For the sleeve, I unpicked the armhole seam and measured how much I wanted to reduce the sleeve. And I transferred that measurement to the sleeve cap and reduce it. I made a more straight line for the sleeve because I want 
it to fit like an off shoulder. I searched all the new raw edges and then sewed up the side seams. Once the side seams are sewn, I insert the sleeve and sew. Next, I turn up the hem a quarter, then a quarter again, and sew it down to finish. Hi friends! Thank you so much for watching and um, please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments any alteration thrift tips that you might like to share with people and that you find really helpful. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell that will notify you when I post my next videos. And I guess that's all. I'll see you guys next time.